Hey guys, Eric here again with another quick video. If you like the content, be sure to share, subscribe, and like as well. Uh, today we're going to talk about a plugin for WordPress. The great thing about plugins is just so many of them for WordPress, and I just discovered this one recently, and it is a heat map. So why is that important? Well, if somebody's going to your website, you definitely want to know where they're clicking. So let me just show you real quick how it works and where it's at. And once you go ahead and install it, you've got it. And it's one of the few ones that I've noticed that were for free. Of course, you can go ahead, just like all the rest of them, and pay a premium. But let's just show you real quickly how it works. We go to the dashboard. This is the site here that we're working with. So I've already got it installed, but let me just show you how you're going to install it real quick. You'll just go to Plugins. You'll go to Add New. Do a search. For Aurora, and there it is right there. Aurora heat map. Um, I've already activated it. I've already installed it. So um, basically, right now it's working. Once it's already activated, you're going to scroll down, and you'll find it in the settings here. You can click on that Aurora heat map, and you can see how it's set up here. There's the pages, and these are the pages that basically are being recognized and you can see there was two clicks there two clicks there and five clicks there in certain areas of the website in this case here it looks like mobile so they were mobile clicks so it may take a few days for this to actually work as my understanding is it doesn't work right away so and these are only a few clicks so this can accumulate over time which is great and this will really help you to hone in where those areas are that maybe you want to put something or, or maybe make it so they can click on something. So let's go ahead and click here where it says the two. And this is the business page. And what I want you to notice is obviously there's a click here. And then if because of the coloration of the, the page here, it might be hard to see. But if you look to the right, it will tell you. See how it says one right there? So it was a click there and there was a click right there. So that's two. There's nothing else on this in the mobile. If we click here, we can notice again, it's two. This is the merch section. This is the merch page of my site. And again, we're going to look to the right as well. And you can see there's a click there. There's a one and there's a one there. And the last one I'll show you here is the five. So that was clicked on five times. This is the trivia portion. And you can see by looking at it on the right, right away, there's the one, 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 one. So those are the areas that it was clicked on. Just a good thing to know. And so if you're going to hone in and learn a little bit more about your audience and what they're actually clicking on, it may be helpful to use the right plugin to really open that door to figure out what can you put there to click on or maybe to go somewhere. Thanks again, guys, for watching. See you real soon.